In today's video, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to make a Valentine's Day card with the help of AI. In the last video, I introduced you to Artflow, where I was able to upload photos of myself and then put myself in photos and situations that I wouldn't normally be in. And as you can see, since that tutorial, I have made many, many wonderful and weird and amazing creations. Some brilliant, some maybe not so good, some that look really like me, some that maybe don't look just like me, but I'm over the moon with it. And instead of buying a Valentine's Day card, I thought it would make me own. I'm going to base it on this here image of me as a Ken doll, and I simply save this picture. I then upscaled it using Topaz Photo AI, and in a future video, we'll look at this brilliant, brilliant AI application and what all it can do but really it's just an upscaler there's other free upscalers that you could use too if you want to follow along if you don't have topaz and again in other videos we'll look at free and paid for ai upscalers i brought it into photoshop made the canvas taller and then using generative fill i added in some of the sky as you can see he's holding the drink i don't want him holding the drink i want him holding a heart so simply Again, using generative fill in Photoshop, I made a marquee butt box and wrote in holding a heart. And this is what Photoshop came up with. And it looks really, really good, but I'm not done yet. I need a happy Valentine's Day text and I could simply type that in using Photoshop. But I came across this brilliant website called textstudio.com and there'll be a link in the description below because you can actually generate the Barbie font, the Barbie logo in this here application and I simply typed in happy valentine's day I downloaded it I then ran it through Topaz photo again just to upscale it really you don't need to do that you can bring it straight into photoshop I split it into three layers just to make happy a bit smaller valentine's a bit bigger day a bit smaller and this is the result and I'm really really happy with it I got it printed out it looks good it's a bit funny it looks a bit like me and that's just one way you can use Artflow, one way you can use Photoshop General Fill to make a quick and easy Valentine's Day card, which is very unique, very quirky, and a lot of fun making it.